Firstly, on today's show, we have a video by Ben Hunt about a migraine from Arta Vineyard. Next, we have the weather with Tia Dilbo. Lastly, we have Tyler Graflo how to make, on how to make an omelette. Let's fly into it, Flyers. Good morning, Birmingham High. Welcome back to Flyer News. Today is our day, second day two, with parents running CADGF. I'm Kennedy Singerindawa. And I'm Ben Hunt. First up, we have a video by my co-anchor covering up migrants who ended up with Ma in Marta's Vineyard. It is pretty, it is a pretty amazing video. Let's head on to my co-anchor's video. Around 50 migrants were sent by a plane to Martha's Vineyard by Florida's Governor Ron DeSantos last Wednesday. The migrants had been flown from Texas to Martha's Vineyard. However, DeSantos never told anyone of his plan, and they just showed up here in Massachusetts. Luckily, the people of Martha's Vineyard were very welcoming and helped the migrants out. It was announced on Friday that the migrants would be relocated to Joint Base Cape Cod, where they can be sheltered by the government. The migrants had been staying at a church in Martha's Vineyard. When the migrants first arrived, most of them were, went straight to the hospital for medical care. One issue that has come up is that some of these migrants have immigration hearings nowhere near Massachusetts. At the military base, they will stay in a dormitory-style space that is set up for both families and individuals. At the base, they will have access to healthcare, food, hygiene kits, legal services, and crisis counseling. DeSantis arranged for these migrants to be moved from Texas to Martha's Vineyard, even though he is the governor of Florida. The migrants were told that they were going to Boston, so it was a surprise when they ended up in Martha's Vineyard. On top of that, two buses full of migrants were sent to Vice President Kamala Harris's house on Thursday. They were sent by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Overall, without the tremendous support of the people of Martha's Vineyard, this could have ended poorly for the migrants. This has been Flyer News. I'm Ben Hunt, and back to the desk. Breathe. It's so cold. In here, can someone get me a jacket? More like give me an umbrella. Yeah, let's find out more about this week's weather by Tia Dilba. Oceans, <laughs> so tired of living in yesterday. Go tell the weatherman, I sent all the rain from last year's pain is gone. Go tell the weatherman, I sent good thanks for all the things that he's done. Good morning, Flyers. Welcome back to this week's weather update with lots of rain and thunder. We will have a high of 77 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. Tomorrow, we will have a high of 77 degrees and the sun will be out with a low of 45 degrees. On Wednesday, keeping the sun from Tuesday, we will have a high of 78 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. On Thursday, the sun leaving and light rain coming in, we have a high of 60 degrees and a low of uh, 60 degrees. So um, we have a high of, on Friday, we will have a high of 80 degrees with a low of 60 degrees. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love it when the sun is out and the rain from today is a bit upsetting, but that is all for this week's weather update. I'm Tia Doba. Let's take it back to the desk. In the latest weather news, Hurricane Fiona swept through Puerto Rico. Power has gone out all across the U.S. territory as the Category 1 storm has swept through the island. Going into Sunday, the hurricane has sustained winds at 85 miles per hour. There has been one confirmed death by the country. Across the next 48 hours, the storm will continue to strengthen. Most of Puerto Rico can expect 
Alaska, from 12 to 16 inches of rain. However, some areas of the territory could see up to 25 inches of rain. All we can do is hope for the best for the island territory. As we all know, the United Kingdom Queen unfortunately died at the age of 96. The Queen's funeral was held on Sunday, September 18. Many world leaders were invited to the funeral, including United States of America President Joe Biden, as well as China, New Zealand, France, Italy, Israel, South Korea, and many more world leaders were invited. However, Russia, Afghanistan, and Syria were not invited at all. Meanwhile, North Korea and Iran ambassadors were invited. Former And former President Donald J. Trump was in, also invited to the Queen's funeral. Kanwar, I make the best omelets on the planet. No, uh, I do. Well, we all know that our very own Tyler Garofalo makes the best omelets. Oh yeah, he's the Flyer News Finest Chef. Next up, we have Tyler Garofalo with In the Kitchen. Well, that is all for today's episode of Flyer News. You can rewatch this in other broadcasts again on our YouTube channel or watch them on the FEC TV tab on the school's website. Also, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Framingham High Studios. But stay right here when where you are because don't you don't want to miss out the next episode of Early Bird hosted by Casey Brewer and L Zach Turderman. From Flyer News, I'm Ben Hunt. And I'm Kennedy Singer and Dawa. Have a marvelous Monday, <laughs> FHS. Are you sleepless too? Wide awake in the starless room. Staring up at the ceiling. Do you feel what I'm feeling? Little fights at the weekend do. You love me better when I'm not with you. We were built like concrete. I used to know your heartbeat. 
The light has disappeared The dust has settled here But still I want you near So I've been waiting for that soul to fade Good Monday morning, Flyers. It's me, Casey Brewer, and who are you again? I'm Zach Trotman, your, your friend, I thought. How are you doing? Well, Zach, I'm hanging on by a thread, but that's okay. How about you, Zach? I'm also hanging on by a thread, yeah. but that's okay, because it's Monday. Start to a new week, and we're going to start this new week off with a fantastic episode of The Early Bird. Monday, one of those days. Definitely. Um, a weekend, you know, how was the weekend, Zach? Weekend was, weekend was good. Uh, it was, it was, was pretty good. good. Yeah. How was yours? Tell me about um, your weekend. It was okay. You know, Patriots won. That was a great win. And Definitely. All right. Um, what are we doing here? Um, no, no, they just keep talking. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, well, I, uh, I worked at Camp Prepared, I see. Okay. You um, worked? So how was that? It was okay. Fun shift? Yeah, it was, oh, it was a fun time. Well, he's, mm. you, didn't, you didn't think, you didn't ask me what we got here. Mm. Oh, actually, oh. Mm. it's a really good donut. Oh, okay. Oh, a glaze stick. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Pour it in, pour it in. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's a nice Gatorade to start off your morning. That's how I do it. You know, most people drink uh, drink coffee, but I actually read a study the other day no, you that said Gatorade is the healthiest drink around. Wow. And no, I didn't read that. Wow. This is beautiful. All right. Um, we'll, we'll get a nice little review going here for the Monday mm. morning. Strawberry frosted. Mmm. <sighs> so, my donut is the Strawberry Frosted Homer Simpson Donut. He actually popularized it. It didn't exist before The Simpsons. Can you fact out for me that real quick? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no? I'll check, I'll was, check. Was I wrong? No. All right, um, yeah, take, take a bite, take a bite. Thank you. So, the Strawberry Frosting is is so good. And then you have the sprinkles, and it's just like, it goes from a nine to an 11 out of 10, if you didn't know. Dude, you're getting the frosting everywhere. That was very delicious. Thank you. With his hands. Mm. I don't even know what to think anymore. All right. Um, thank you for the meal, Zach. Um, very delicious. Uh, a great, a nutritious way to start your morning. Absolutely. Um, How's the glaze stick? I have the glaze stick. And listen, I'd say this is an underrated... Um, this is an underrated, um, what's it called, pastry? Pa no, no, I think it's, I think it's uh, classified as a donut, I think. Okay, it's an it's a underrated donut in my opinion, right? You th yeah, why, well, I, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't have the shape of a donut is my thing. Oh, well, that's okay, because it's still but delicious, though. It's still, but does it count as a donut? Is, is, that's my yeah. question. It's classified, but does it, is it really a donut? Well, that's why I said it was a pastry. Um, anyways, we... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to take it over to the pledge with Logan Swift. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mm. Thank you, Logan. Um, before we head over to announcements, quick reminder to start the week off. If you want to make an announcement or if you want to sign up to be a guest on the early bird, you can head over to the link in our bio at Framingham. Hi, Studios, Zach. Just gonna finish the bite there. 
Same goes for the early bird guest. Uh, I that. just, I Did just said, that? I just said I was that. so enthralled with the strawberry frosted donut from Dunkin' Donuts, guys. Okay. This right. is an endorsement for Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, no. Uh, it's not. We're going to head it over to announcements. Good morning, Flyers. Hey, I just wanted to ask you a question, actually. Do you like trivia? Are you in high school? Then High School Quiz Show is for you. All you need to do is swing by D206 this Thursday for some high school quiz show practices, and they're going to be so epic, so cool. So come swing by this Thursday, D206. D206. Hi, we're starting a computer science club at the school. So every Tuesday from 2 to 3 at B109, if you are interested in programming, stop by. Good morning, Flyers. Hey, I just want to let you know that um, there's something really cool that you can do after High School Quiz Show. You can go to Hot Table in Framingham next to Chipotle, and uh, you can grab some paninis. Mention you're there for the class of 2023 at Framingham High School. Uh, we get money, you get paninis, and I think, honestly, it would, it would be the best thing ever in the entire world. So you should probably go do that. I think that would be really cool. See you there. That's this Thursday. Good morning, FHFs. Mr. Combrey here, Vice Principal of Silver House. Uh, a quick reminder that first period starts at 725. So when that bell rings, teachers are going to look in the hallway, collect any people that are straggling, and then close the door. So if you're not in class at that point, you'll be marked tardy. That is why we are transitioning out of the cafeteria at 715. So breakfast will be coming to a close at 715. We will be dismissing everyone at that point to make sure you all get to class on time, 725. Thanks. Have a great Monday. I have a confession. I've actually never had a panini before. Really? Like ever. No. So you know what you do on Thursday? Can you, well, well, can you explain to me what it is first? I don't think I can, honestly. So, you, But you got like the, the panini bread, sure. I guess. Roll, bread. You put stuff in there like... I know one of my favorites at Hot Table is um, a steak and cheese. So you uh, put some steak in there, you get some cheese, some onions, some peppers, you put that in there. And then you put it in a panini press, which gives like the little lines on right, it. Right, yeah. And you go like, Shh, and it's like, you know, it's, it's kind of cooking it more. So it's kind of like a sandwich. Now, I actually have a confession to make myself. Okay. Um. I do like trivia. <laughs> and I am a high schooler. So. Well, then hop on over to trivia what's it called trivia night trivia trivia game <laughs> it's not like that can i have a spoon of gatorade oh, fine. you can say no if you don't no, want no it's to. fine it's fine drink it oh i'm awake for for c period now. i'm so excited for gym right after right uh, after right after the glaze stick and the donut the it's very stick? exciting yes no way yes um mm. just it's gonna be a great so it's good. gonna be a great hour and a half um gym <laughs> class frankly very now, excited. I do want to thank you all for watching this episode. If you want to rewatch this episode or any other episodes, head over to the YouTube uh, channel at Framingham High Studios. Casey, do you have any last words to end off this episode besides taking my donut from me? CAD gift, folks. Let's start this week off right. We'll see you tomorrow, Flyers. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs>